Maggie Gleason came into the world a fighter. She had no choice. Her heart stopped twice when she was born. Weakened kidneys and lungs, a cleft palate. In spite of it all, Maggie thrived, except for one thing. She is profoundly deaf, born without cochleas, the snail-shaped bones in the inner ear that allow us to hear. She had auditory nerve damage in both ears. And so therefore the traditional cochlear implant was not possible. Frustration and setbacks hurt, but the Gleason family never gave up on the dream that one day Maggie would hear. Science finally prevailed. An auditory brainstem implant that would actually bypass the ear altogether. But there were problems and risks. You know, FDA hadn't approved them. There was a lot of research that needed to be done. And the fears at the time were like facial paralysis, brain damage, and then spinal cord paralysis. After waiting 11 years, Maggie became the first teen to have the surgery at UH, a 10-hour procedure that took place in November. Typically, when we put an auditory brainstem implant, we know that it takes at least a year in the good situations and people who had hearing before and lost it before they can start getting some benefit from it. Like a computer, the device takes sound and converts it into electrical impulses. Those impulses travel through the skin by radio frequency and connect to the brainstem. Three days after Christmas, doctors turned on the device for the very first time. And this is what happened. Maggie, can you hear me? <laughs> it was never something I ever thought we would see or that she would ever experience. Once home, Maggie was overcome with sounds. So many things made noise, but her favorite sound? She said hearing her dad hear, call her uh, name and hearing him's voice. Just go on in. Okay. A month later, Maggie is making progress. The device has been fine-tuned. She learned how to rank the pitches from low to middle to high. And that is really hard for someone that hasn't had any experience with sound before. So she's really remarkable. A fighter at birth, thankful for her doctors who never gave up, and the family that never left her side. Well, this is I love you, and then this is I really love you. Maggie still has a very long road ahead. Once the device is fine-tuned, she'll have to go back to speech therapy to relearn how to talk. She's already looking ahead to the future and hopes to one day become a pastry chef. And no doubt, she'll hear the timer ring when the cake is done.